There's either something odd about Jesus or odd about the way some of us Christians talk. And it's not just modern Christians. It goes back a long way. I'm talking about the readiness to relinquish life and, quote, to go to be with Jesus or to go to heaven. Now, as important as it is that we don't value this life at the expense of our eternal lives, we mustn't go the other way and have an unhealthy emphasis on the next and be dismissive or even contemptuous of this one. That's not the sign of spiritual maturity. Now, why did I mention Jesus? Because, for instance, at the death of Lazarus, we take it for granted that Jesus will raise him from the dead. It seems the obvious thing. But why? If we are supposed to hold on to life lightly and think of this world as a constant valley of tears, then surely Jesus would have said something like, Lazarus is blessed, he's gone to heaven. And he'd be the last one to bring him back. And Lazarus wouldn't be impressed if Jesus did bring him back. But Jesus does so, because this life is precious. Life is a gift from God. Every day is to be enjoyed. So we are to give thanks to God for all of life. Now these things may seem obvious, but we do need to occasionally check our mindset to make sure that we share the mind of Christ. He valued life as a gracious gift from God, his own and everyone else's. It wasn't mere chance that the first miracle was when he changed water into the best wine. Wine that was alcoholic, by the way. I imagine him raising his glass with a muzzle toff to the married couple. But he also knew how to relinquish life. He knew how to die. The centurion who witnessed his death was so impressed that he said, surely this man was the son of God. Jesus knew how to live and he knew how to die. For me to live is Christ, that's good. And to die is gain, and that too is good. Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. And while I've been sitting here, there's a sparrowhawk circling in the evening air up there in the blue sky. He's just circling and circling. It's quite a beautiful sight. Not if you're a mouse, I suppose, or a shrew or something, but it's a beautiful sight.